Hi, I'm Amy Kirsch, and I'm standing in front of a new business here in Belmont Center. Meet Belmont Wine and Beer Store at 32 Leonard Street on today's Belmont Business Spotlight. Now here I am with the owner of Belmont Wine and Beer, Roxana Lemus. We're so excited to be here. You have a beautiful space. I can see how much care you've put into it. So the selection is outstanding because you have, you know, all different kinds of wine all around the shop. It's very easy to take in. You're not overwhelmed. You've, and so can you tell us a little bit about how you cultivated your collection here? Um, yes, my wine selection, it's, I will say it's a very unique wine selection because I do take my time, and not only me, but also my uh, staff who it's, uh, um, the wine, the, the sales for the wines, they also take their time to come in here with me, and I try different type of wines, and one thing, thing that I do is they bring me six full bottles and at the end of the day I only choose two bottles and the way I choose the wines my products is depending on what the customers is looking for uh, when I try the wines I just think about uh, my customers and also I try to something that works very well for me is when I when I'm trying the wine it, it, it my head takes me back to uh, the place for example if it's a, a wine from France it takes me back to when I was in France and I was just sitting and having a nice cup of coffee or or having a, a enjoying the weather or just having a nice meal with with that type of wine and that's how I choose my selection and there are some wines here that I will say and I am very proud that I am the only wine shop that carries those wines here in Massachusetts so I am very very excited very happy with my selection and I'm very excited and happy about my customers coming in and also try the wines. How did you get into the wine business? Well let me tell you that's a little uh, long story we'll try to make it short. <laughs> um, I always, besides loving wine, and I enjoy drinking wine, and every time I travel, in my head is always, oh, let me go to Italy and see what wine I'm going to try today. And it's always been in my head. Um, although I had, when I had my first business, I was 25 years old, and I had my, I was the owner of a full liquor store. And I will tell you that what got my attention was mostly the wine section. And I said something about the wine, something about the wine. And also because of where I'm coming from, uh, from Italy, uh, from the Southwest and also Central America, it's a little of a mix and the wines and, and, and how I got into this business. But when I used to, my previous job, which was banking, um, I used to work for in one of the branches here at the Belmont Town. And one, I used to go to, for lunch to the restaurant, to the Belmont Center. And that's how I got to know the, the people. And I love the town. And one day I walked into this beautiful shop and I said, wow, this is amazing. I love this little tiny shop. And this is exactly what I said. And so you are a woman owned business. You should be very proud of yourself for that. And you own a liquor and beer store as a women owned business. Do you find that you're a minority or do you find welcomed and, and, and brought in as part of, you know, other businesses? How do you feel that, does it set you apart? I do feel very welcome to the town and being a woman, I strongly believe that we can't, and we can um, do as much as we desire as long as we put our goals in our in our heads. And I will tell you, when I first opened up, my responsibility as a new business owner is 
uh, introduce myself to the other business who are been here a longer time than me. And in this case, they came to my shop and they introduced themselves to me. And that made me feel so special. And I said, wow, this is, is such an amazing town. I am so happy that I am here. And until today, one year since I opened, they still come to my shop and they still introduce themselves. They still ask me how's everything going. And that makes me feel not only good as a business, as a woman business owner, but also makes me feel as part of the community. Um, I want to hear more about your events because you are so fun to talk to <laughs> and I want to come to them. So please tell us more about what events you've been having. Of course, Amy. Um, as of right now, what I am having, and thank you so much for <laughs> the friendly um, comments. Um, as of right now, I do have events every Friday, which is a wine tasting, 4.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Saturdays, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we, um, we, I try to open six, seven, eight bottles of wine, and we have fun. And, and, and it's not only about tasting the wines, it's about get to know the community and the community get to know me and my products and that they feel welcome here because i don't want them to yes oh let's i don't want them to say let's just go and have some wine i, I would love for them to say let's go to the belmont wine shop they have a wine tasting let's go let's let's go and talk to the owner or let's go and have fun um and i and that's what i enjoy when they're coming in and they and they uh talk to me and they as part of enjoying the wine tastings it's also building that relationship with my customers and I would love for my customers to keep coming to my wine tastings <laughs> and uh, trying trying the new products that I'm bringing in and as I hear from them because something else I do love about my the wine tastings is that I hear um, feedback from my customers and I am very I listen to them to what they say okay this wine X of this wine X and I make them feel and I want them to feel as part of my shop. I don't want them to say the business, the wine shop owner. I want to say, oh, Roxiana, Roxiana. It, it, and that's what I liked and, and it is very fun. So I welcome please everyone to come in to my wine tastings and have a little bit of fun trying the wines and also with the, having a good appetizer <laughs> and also uh, talking to me and the other um, clients as well. Well, show me some of your other products because you have these gorgeous baskets I keep eyeing behind me and I want to show everyone at home what you also provide here. Um, so if I have a gift that I need to bring someone, you have these wonderful baskets. Tell me about them, how you put them together. Of course. Um, the way I put them together is I am getting to know my customers and what they like. And some of my customers come in and they said, oh, I'm going to this uh, uh, dinner and I don't know what to bring. And uh, those customers, it's easier. I said, oh, well, well, what are you having for dinner, may I ask? And it will be easier to just say, oh, look at this. How about this nice basket? It's already made. It has uh, the glasses. And it depends on what they have in for, for dinner or lunch. I will suggest a, a champagne, or I will suggest a rosé, or I will suggest a um, cabernet, or I will suggest a Riesling. It depends on what the, the conversation is like. We are so happy to have you here in Belmont Center at 32 Leonard Street. I think Belmont wine and beer fills a void that Belmont really needs. We're really excited to have you here. And I love your energy. I love that you bring out the best in what we can enjoy here. So I'm excited to come to your events. I'm excited to get your gifts. And I'm really looking forward to being a frequent customer.